How to Win Competitive Games Part 2. Um, a lot of good feedback on the, the first one. So this is a um, Olympic... Um, this is an Olympic game. This was when Iceland won the entire Olympics. This was, uh, I think, the fourth game of the Olympics. And this was the win I got. So I also have another um, event after this. It's Instinct Tuesdays. I'm also going to show an Instinct Tuesday one. Except, rather than just a normal Instinct Tuesday game, I'm going to show it at 60 FPS, which I know a lot of you have, so that's not like anything not normal. But the only reason um, I'm showing it is because a lot of people say... Um, if I was 60 FPS, I wouldn't win as many events, but, like, I'll show you what, like, it's, it's, it's not a difference. So, I, I see far away, not too many people are dropping. Let me go back on that for a second, hold on. Uh, right there. As you can see, there's, like, no one jumping. You can see no one jumping to the right, so I know there's just a jump. And then, um, I, uh, start going to faraway farm. I don't see anyone too close to where I went. So I just I just start looting. I find a pistol, I find a P90. There's not too many people that far away from. So it, it it's um it's looking pretty good so far. So I have a rubber gun, P90, pistol, scar, red kit. All I need at this point is shields. I'm pretty much set for the rest of the game. So we got a lead on a Lego. He only he didn't have a gun yet, so it's an easy kill. I'm gonna Get minis and hybrids, which is definitely a savior. I'm, I'm not sure if I looted the right side. Um, I find a bolt too, dude. It's just I had a, a, a quite good loadout. I find more hybrids over there. I know that all I have to do is just find good positioning. And I probably have to do that. Although, hey, okay. So here I start getting tagged a lot. I'm at 50 HP. I have to dodge all of these people. There's someone over there to the left. And I'm about to get, like, there's a possibility of getting a storm pinch when I go back to the storm. So I have to be aware of that. Um, so I open the map. And I look to where I could go. Um, and my first, the first place I see is Tinkertown. So I decided to go to Tinkertown. <coughs> so I can uh, just chill there. And hopefully get circle. Which I somewhat did. I had to clutch it up at the end. Um, but I did get a good amount of circle. So I just, I'm looting, looking for more loot. Not that I really need any more loot, but I, I would appreciate some, like a big shield and beneath, something like that. So I just look for the next circle and I see that it's heading towards Tinkertown. So I know this is probably going to be like at least somewhat of a Tinkertown final circle. And whenever that happens, you have to go to Tinker right away. You can't wait. You can't expect to just be able to, like, some houses you can just, like, come in late and just take them out. But, like, Tinkertown, you can't do that. You have to go there right away. Um, most of the time, so. I just drink a hybrid, get myself back to 175. And now I'm just chilling here with P90, Scar, Bolt. I'll just skip a bit till there, where there's action. So I just, just chill here. I see someone over there. Take some shots at him. Almost got him. Not quite. So I'm gonna skip a little bit more. Talking to other people because they're like doing something. Um, they're like just talking. And I got a little bit of circle here. So this is where you have to play smart. And you have to. There's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna rush you. Right here. So I just use my P90 to get him out. I haven't found a pump yet, which is a problem because. Not finding a pump, um, especially for me, I can't, I, I can't, I, I, I can't use SMGs that well. Well, not that I can't use it that well, but I usually need a shotgun, or not, yeah, like any shotgun, um, besides like attack, obviously, to, to win the game. Shotguns I find are much easier and better, um, more like reliable. So I just take out Fiji King, who he was already pretty much dead. Lump kills himself with the, actually, I think that was a fake lump, yeah, he was a blump using. The USA tech, so it was it was definitely a fake. But that person um, does kill himself. There's seven people left in the game. I do have um I'm gonna take the bandages. I know people don't use bandages for storm healing, but when you have a healing gun, you should definitely use bandages because they they give you more time to um to heal. There's another player with the heal gun over there. 
So I just chill here. The circle is getting really low. So I'm just waiting to use his first advantages. And I did. Um, and it looks like Blump, the actual Blump, is still alive. But I'm pretty sure he dies here. And I just take out the final player. Canada. Or Morse. And I win the game. Let's play that final clip over again. So I'm just storm healing. I see there's only two people left. And I just come out and take him out. And that was our third victory. And all we needed... And we actually did end up winning today, that night. Uh, Iceland. Alright, so here is the 60 FPS Instinct Tuesday one. Um, again, I just wanted 60 FPS as a, an experiment. Because I wanted to see what it was like at 60 FPS. And actually, if it was actually harder to win at 60 FPS. So, my ping was spiking to 35, which doesn't usually happen. But when you go to 60 FPS, it usually does. Um, as you can see, I've scoped them for a bolt, a shotgun. Um, and also, I, I came like second place the eighth game or ninth game um by like one hp dude the other dude had a one hp i almost won the entire instinct thesis but again a lot of people did get close mario ended up clutching that in overtime um this this instinct tuesday's event but this instinct tuesday game again i went on 60 fps the entire instinct tuesdays just to see how i would do an event with 60 fps versus unlimited and again they are pretty much the same if not in some cases 60 fps was kind of better in door fights and um and door flicks i would say 60 fps is actually a more viable option and I, i'm actually starting to go in 60 fps more than unlimited sometimes in events it just depends um uh, what kind of play style the, but yeah 60 fps is not bad at all i know a lot of people would say that it gives them disadvantages it doesn't trust me it does not at all give you disadvantages 60 fps has advantages to unlimited and unlimited has some advantages too but in door fights and door flex, I gotta say 60 FPS is better. Maybe that's just a preference. But if I'm door fighting someone, I'll usually go in uh, 60. Here, I'll show you an example. Ready? So here I'm door flicking. Ready? So hold on, let me just bring back a little bit. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like in slow motion. At least what I'm compared to in limited SPS, it's not. It's it's it looks like slow motion ish. And so it gives me more time to door flick and aim while the door is open. Same for um for shotguns. I have more time to think where I'm shooting and shoot through the door. It, this works more in door flicks than door shotgun fights. They're probably about the same unlimited. Yeah, they're probably like, I probably do just as well in both. But door flicks with snipers, 100% better with 60 FPS. It's pretty much in slow motion. You have more time to aim. You have more time to shoot through. You have more time to not miss the person, miss the door, etc. Or like hit the door. So door flicks, again, they're better than 60 FPS in my opinion. Um, as you can see, 60 FPS did not change my, um, how well I did in this event. I did just as well. So here I'm just trying to find positioning. I'm looking towards the gray house right there. The gray house to the right of me. I'm just going to show behind this bush for now. I don't want to push in real white yet. I kind of want to wait for someone, the third party, but I also want to check if it's clear. Someone coming over here, I take this snipe. Um... I try to finish him, I don't quite get him, but I, I go in and I have to get him. I don't have to, but I want to, and I, look at this, ready? This is what you guys, you don't already do this. There's a medkit over there, right? I end up storm healing at the end of this game. Um, I marked the medkit, I, I marked the medkit, like, mentally, so that I knew where it was. But if it wasn't for the medkit, I probably would have lost the game. Um, but that medkit saved me. Um, it's, it, it increased my storm healing time. Let me stay in the storm for longer. Um, so if you ever have meds that you can't carry, but you still know where they are, just mentally or you can physically just mark the map where they are in case you need to use them later for storm. Help. So you can just go back in the storm. Again. So they're probably trying to kind of rush me right now. I'm not sure what he's doing, but he does back off. Right then, I thought he was going to end up griefing me, which is really not a good thought. This other player tried to reverse me out before in RPG. Now, luckily, his reverse did not hit. If it did, it would have been really bad. But I'm trying to use a hybrid here. Just to get back to him. There's eight people. I see a few people fighting over there. I'm just chilling this house. I take a snipe at him. Use my scope. Before I get XII dot. Who's an instinct player? I have 17 spectators. I do have Kelkum right now as well. So I just... Try to use these big shields. Um, and then I go back for the medkit in a second. 
These hybrids actually kind of did come in clutch. They would um, underestimate hybrids in storm healing situations, but you don't have to take minis over hybrids in storm healing. Hybrids are actually really good, especially if you're doing medkit hybrids. Really, really good. So now I use the medkit. I probably could have used it a, a little bit later there, but it doesn't matter. I use another hybrid. I'm with other people to fight. I see that it's two players left I'm at 60 or so HP. And I'm getting up with the hybrids. There's other players trying to rubber gun me. I didn't want to risk it, so I just went in and pumped him. There you go. Took off a shield. Nice. And I uh, won that game. 60 FPS again. Kind of like a social experiment. I shared this because I wanted to show you guys. FPS isn't everything. It's mostly skill. FPS can actually come um, with disadvantages both ways. Obviously, 30 FPS, it's going to come with pretty much all disadvantages. But 60, limited. Hands down. Um, pretty much no difference. So... I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to part three, um, like the video. If we get 50, yeah, 50 likes, I'll make a part three of how I win competitive games. Just so hit the like button and subscribe if you want to. Uh, 500 subs and we're doing a montage. So GG's only.